Hi guys, so let's continue with the Hanukkah. That will be part three, yes, C. And uh, last time we spoke about Lysias, we spoke about Elazar Achoroni, Judah the Maccabee brother. And uh, let's continue. In the book of Genesis, we have a fascinating story about Jacob, Jacob the Patriarch having this wrestling match, kind of MMA fight you know, we the uh, most negative angel, the angel that represents or is capsulating any kind of pain, suffering, chaos, troubles, illness, whatever you want to call it. And, uh, and the fight is going all night long. I mean, Jacob had to be in a very a good physical shape if we take the story, of course, literally. But we're really talking about um, um, in their spiritual realm, if you like, in the world of energy, okay? There is something going on there all night long. So uh, Yaakov eventually defeats that negative angel, but when we read in the scriptures, it says that the angel eventually was able to dislocate Jacob, uh, something in his, his hip, yes, dislocate his uh, hip socket. And, and Yaakov was in pain, he was... Uh, limping but he won he won the battle we know that those, those stories in the in the bible in the torah it's just not to entertain us to tell us just something about history but there are deep messages so yes jacob represent us the human souls just to make it easy the angel i told you representing all the negativity what about this hip socket that got uh, dislocated yes that, that, that caused so much pain to yaakov the Zohar, the main Kabbalistic text, is telling us that it's about the Sephirah, about the emanation of Hod, which we mentioned in the past, but I want to dig a little bit deeper today into the real meaning of Hod. Hod, part of what we call the tree of life reality. So it's definitely above the illusion of physicality, above the illusion of chaos, suffering, and pain that we have in the physical realm. So what is it about Hod? We mentioned in the past that Hod has to do with, usually I will say that it has to do with appreciation, but I want to explain it a little bit in a different way because when we speak about appreciation, we all very, I, I will think even very much appreciative people. We appreciate all the good things that we have, that we have in our lives. But what we are talking about when it comes to Hod, when it comes to Hod, it's a deep feeling of gratitude and uh, thankfulness. So it's a little bit deeper than appreciation. When Jacob got hit by the negative angel on his hip, the code of that story is that human souls, me and you, we lost that, we lost the, this ability to have deep thankfulness and gratitude but we are not talking about every once in a while that we're feeling it i'm talking about everlasting maybe will be uh, <laughs> too much but a le long term thankfulness and gratitude but i want to give it even or to expand it a little bit in a deeper way and and really to bring it to our lives and i will use for that the story of leah leah the matriarch Jacob wife. We know that he had two wives, Leah and Rachel. So Leah gave birth to three sons and then it was some kind of a, a, a little stoppage maybe and then she gave birth to Yehuda, Judah and she named him Yehuda. Why? The name Yehuda which we see again in Hanukkah, Yehuda, Maccabee, Judah, the Maccabee, the name Yehuda is coming from the word Hod, Yehuda, which means Leah basically showing gratitude and thankfulness. Okay, but that's not the interesting thing here. There is something even deeper. Why she felt such a deep gratitude and thankfulness when Yehuda was born? The real reason was be because, because Leah didn't think that she's going to have more children or more sons. 
we're talking about a situation or situations in plural in our lives that I'm, I'm expecting for one, one thing to happen. That's what I expect. I, and I will be very happy if my expectations will be fulfilled. Imagine an ongoing situation that not only that your expectations are, are being fulfilled, but you're getting actually much more than what you expected. Imagine life being a constant pleasant surprise, a good surprise. So I'm happy with my life, yes, and, and everything that is happening there. And that's more or less what I'm expecting. And then I'm actually getting even much more than what I desired or was a, what I was expecting. So again, it's, it's constantly like a, a good surprise. Let's think about what happens usually in our lives. I don't want to say all the time, we, uh, hopefully we're, we're all kind of uh, happy people most of the time. But if we're truly honest with ourselves, we know that sometimes deep inside, we might feel that we get a little bit less that, than what we maybe wanted or expected. Kind of the promise of life was that much big, and I feel I, I'm getting a little bit less. It can be in my relationships, it can be financially, it can be almost in every important area of my life. Yes, you know, we, we, we are happy, we, we're going along with that, but how many of us can say that it's a constant, pleasant surprise? I got much more than what I expected. I think, and I'm not a businessman, yes? Uh, don't know so much about business, but I do know that if you have clients, don't overpromise another deliver, right? Then the client will be disappointed, right? Uh, the opposite can be great, yes? Under promise, over deliver. Then, wow, you know, I didn't expect such a good service, or, or I bought one, and surprisingly, somebody told me, you know what, it's, it's, a, it's a new system, we're just applying it right now. Nobody even know you are the first one. If you buy one, you get the second one. And also we'll give you a free service, whatever the product is. So you will be very happy, right? It's a pleasant surprise. I didn't expect it. I got much more than what I even thought that I'm going to get. So it's the opposite of disappointment. It's the complete opposite. When we are talking about Hod, and that's what Leah felt. Leah Demetriok, she felt I'm, I'm overwhelmed with the abundance, with the goodness that I'm getting in my life. Every day it's like a pleasant surprise. And not because she, uh, how people like to say, uh, don't, don't uh, lower your expectation. Not, not because she had like low expectations. On the contrary, she had very high expectations, but she got even more than what she could imagine. That definitely is a miracle. Last time we spoke about Lysias and about how Elazar Achoroni, how Elazar Achoroni died in the battle, Judah, the Maccabee brother. And, uh, and then I told you the story how they put a siege over Jerusalem, Judah and his people, they're about to uh, die in starvation. Yes, I explained it in the previous video and, I, and I'm going to put in the description, the link to the previous, to the previous uh, video. But anyway, then the political issue, how Lysia had to go back. He felt that he had to go back to Antiochia because of his uh, political uh, rivalry. So again, we did speak about it in, uh, in Hanukkah part two, B. Okay, now think about it. For Judah and his people, they thought that's it. He's going to continue with this siege and eventually either we're going to surrender and probably to die because they will massacre us or just taking us as slaves, uh, or we're just going to die from starvation. And then situation completely, the situation completely changes. Lysias had to go back, or he wanted to go back to Antiochia. So when, when we are talking about Hod, which is the eighth spiritual reality, when we go from the very top, Keter, Chokhmah, Bina, uh, we're going, from the very top of the different spiritual realities, and we get to this parallel universe of Hod. The energetic download from Hod, which is available throughout the eight days of Hanukkah, it's 
to get into this mindset, its energy, its consciousness that will help us not just to appreciate, because we appreciate it already, but to feel this great gratitude in, in, a, in a way that life is a pleasant surprise. So thank you very much for watching. Of course, more videos about Hanukkah and about different things uh, are coming up soon. Hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the um, bell icon so you can get notifications. If you have friends that are interested in such uh, uh, things, please share the video with them. See you next time. All the best.